God damn it. I accidentally saved that last recording as a... as a cam wreck instead of an AVI. Now I'm gonna have to do five minutes of encoding. Bastards! Anyway, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Get On With It, Deja Vu 2. Last episode, we died in a desert. We also... fooled some silly people, and we learned more about the game. This episode, we're gonna learn more about the game. <laughs> Fancy that. First off, let me make one of these spiffy, cool little save... Oh, shit. Should be pressing that key. Wrong key! Sorry, sorry, my bad. My B, yo. My B. And, uh, let me close up this little prompt down here that I had open whenever I, uh... Check to see, yep, I saved as a cam wreck. Son of a bitch! It's okay. Let's just travel to the east. Faint tire tracks meander across this section of desert, leading to the east and west. There was something else that I popped up that I completely ignored. Regardless, we're here. Lucky Dice Hotel and Casino. Again. Head back here. Again. Operate the elevator button. Again. And go in here again. So, I'd like to... Operate. Let's check out the other floors. How about four? We ding Grats. Nothing exciting. Damn it. What about let's just check out this place. It's an advertisement for the Lucky Dice Hotel and Casino. It's a panel with four buttons. You notice a blank space above the fourth button. Ah interesting. We didn't check out the second floor, but I don't think we need to. Let's say, what if we took this magnet and... The magnet fits perfectly above the fourth button. There is a faint click from within the panel. You can feel the elevator moving up. Interesting. Let's get that back. Exit the elevator. What's going on up? Although this is the fifth floor, it doesn't look like a hotel anymore. Office doors flank the sides of the hallway. As you step into the corridor, you read the nameplates on the doors. Anthony Malone, notorious Las Vegas mobster, and Dan Vintini, a name you remember seeing once or twice in the paper. It was rumored that the district attorney had irrefutable evidence to convict this Las Vegas businessman on racketeering charges. The charges were dropped, however, when the DA turned up dead. That's great. <laughs> Let me tell you how awesome that is. What's going up here? It's a portrait of a stern, austere man. The signature, your godfather. Okay. Hmm, looks like a door. Let's open the door and head inside. This looks like a medium-sized office. Windows give this room a light and airy ambience. Wallpaper could really bring out its best features, don't you think? Yeah. It's a dog racing form. They don't have nags in Vegas because of some mob disagreement. You notice that the numbers 2, 7, and 10 are circled. You wonder, how much is writing on these pooches? Personally, you'd bet on the rabbit. What else we got going on here? We have... An executive desk. is of oak veneer and wood buy products. I meant to click on that thing. This peculiar desk ornament, which probably serves as a paperweight, is shaped like a hummingbird. Is that so? The paperweight separates into two pieces. I broke it, guys. My god. I want that dart. The dart? I'm gonna get the dart. I'm a jackass. Goodbye. <laughs> We're gone. Ah, well, let's open the desk first. Anything exciting? It's a large leather bound ledger. Ooh, ledgers. The ledger lists payments made to Malone via Ventini from various operations around the country. The page headed Chicago lists Siegel as the local headman and shows the following. 118,000, 1,000, 121,000, 121,000, etc. Okay, let's close that up so the man doesn't know I opened his fucking shit and get the fuck out of here. I think we got all that we need to. Oh, let's close the door. You leave no trace. The elevator door swoosh open, and we are gone. Goodbye. Four, three, two, blast off! 
There's probably a one in there somewhere that I left out. Whatever. Casino. Front door. And let's go back to Reliant Laundry. You guys remember that place? That was a good place. Keep heading this way. Here we go. And heading off in other directions really does not help you that much. Like, you could keep going this way. It takes you out to the desert. This front door. This side door. I think that takes you out to the desert, too. It doesn't matter. What does matter is saving the game. Save the game already! Yes. Alright. Now this unmarked brass key that we've got here, we're going to use that on the side metal... Ah, oh, shit. Fuck. Um... Ah, uh, come back. Baby, come back! You can blame it all on me! <laughs> Wait, I opened myself, so I'm keeping all of these items inside of myself? <laughs> we just took this Let's Get On With Adventure to a place I didn't know it was going. The door is now unlocked. The door is now open. You're in a dimly lit laundry room. The smell of detergent overwhelms your senses. Let's go upstairs and head into the office door. And you know what we're going to do here? Operate. Oh, shit. Fuck, I did it again. God damn it, Moses. Oh, son of a bitch, tits. Damn. Pastor Stogie Martin is going to kill me now. Because I'm taking so much time doing dumb shit. Let's throw the dart at the dartboard. What happens? Over the years, you've acquired many talents, and throwing darts is one of them. Bullseye! The dartboard in the section of wall it's on moves aside to reveal a secret passage. Is that so? Very nice. Let's go ahead in there. This seems to be a secret but stuffy room. This place needs some air conditioner. phew -ee! It's a well-woven straw wastebasket. What do you want? Wicker? Anything in there? There's a banana! Looks like a very ripe banana. Maybe too ripe. Okay, maybe not that. What about what's in here? The desk is now open. Cool. Let's take a look. The letter reads, Boss, I've come across something strange that you should know about. Among other things, I've been helping out with making some protection payments to the cops. When Joey got it, I grabbed the books to make sure the cops didn't get them. They don't show any of the payments at all. I know DV knows about them, because Joey told me to report by phone direct to DV after each payment was made on account of it being DV's operation. But if it ain't in the books, then you would never see any record of the payoffs. I think DV is muscling in on your territory. Anyway, the whole thing's weird, and I thought you ought to know. Tom Bondwell. Ah, I think we'll want that. Get that. Welcome to my inventory. My cluttered as fuck inventory. What else is in here? You can barely make out the scribblings on this piece of paper. It seems to be a list of Chicago-based companies with the word accept, words accept or terminate written next to each. Pretty ominous sounding stuff. Open this ledger and let's take a look here. The ledger lists all of the payments that appear in Siegel's diary. I wonder if these are the real books, she muttered to herself. We don't want the real books. We want to close out of there, and, uh, one other thing that we want to do. You remember that cigar ring we picked up, uh, all the way back at the beginning? But you have another opportunity to pick up in your apartment? You know what? We want that. And we want that to be here. It doesn't matter exactly where it is, but we want it to be leaving there. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll go ahead and leave evidence... That we were there, no big deal. We're standing in the middle of the, middle of the desert road. Tra la 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 la. Yes, yes. Tire tracks, rabbits, ducks, fire. I get it, okay? Back to the lobby. Back to the elevator. Step in there, and our trusty magnet to save the day. <laughs> That's the saving the day button, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> we I don't think we have to get that back. I think this is the last time we'll be up here, but just in case, let's go ahead and drag that back into our... I said, 
Let's go ahead and drag that back into our inventory anyway, because I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let's open this door here, Anthony Ballone's office, and step inside. You're in a spacious, sparsely furnished office. Opulent, isn't it? The rosewood is especially nice. What's shaking in here? It's a picture of Malone making a speech at a banquet held in honor of Dan Vintini. It doesn't surprise you that these two major league hoodlums are really tight. Rumor has it that Danny V is the one weakness Malone has. A kid from the streets that Malone thinks of as a son. The word on the street is that Vintini is even more ruthless than Malone. That's great. I'm glad we don't owe him the hundred grand. Supposedly. <laughs> That's fantastic. This picture shows Malone and Ventini holding up what looks like the tuna to end all tunas. You figure Malone must have spread some dough to take Ventini on this fishing trip. Is that so? It's a picture of some dame named Terry Marsh in a cheesecake pose. Ooh. Hello, lady. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be macking on some damn dame in a hard-boiled detective novel that was released. Many, many years ago, even though this isn't a novel, it doesn't matter. What we want to do is, let's check out the desk. You got some cool things for us? What do you got in here? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? A finely crafted English-made silver, le silver letter opener. We have a plain brown paper bag, and we've got a pair of dice. Probably loaded. Dice! Nice. But that's not a big deal. What we want to do is, you see this diary? Yeah, we want to put that in here, and in case you forgot, this is Siegel's personal diary. And in case you forgot what was in that diary, the missing payments, and we want to drop the letter that we got from the Sugar Shack. No, 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 wrong letter. It's this letter. Sugar, if I'm knocked off, give this to the chief of police. Make sure Captain Carlston doesn't see it. There we go. Problem solved. Let's just go ahead and leave now. We've we we've done everything that we need to do. Let let's just go. Well, we're not trying to cause any sort of argument, or you know, we're we're not trying to make any trouble. We're not trying to get out of having to pay over 100 grand. No, it's okay. It's, it's okay. We're not trying to do that. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> not us. We're not trying to cause any havoc. It's okay. We're not trying to set two mob. No. 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 <laughs> not a no. <laughs> Why would we be doing that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's not me. That wouldn't be right. No, of silly people on the internet. Do, do, what do I look like I would be that kind of douche? No, no. All right, we got $25 to our name here. That's more than enough money. Let's go ahead and get the fuck out of Dodge. No, shit. I said get the fuck out of Dodge. Out of Dodge, LOL now. Save game, just in case, and... We're going to be taking a train going anywhere. Nothing happened. I meant look at it. Take the midnight train going anywhere. I always wanted to go to L.A. Let's go to L.A., guys. Oh, shit. The wooden platform you're standing on seems quite new. Despite the evidence of the diary and the letter, Malone can't believe that Ventini, the son he never had, could be double-crossing him. Ventini uses a 38 special to convince him. That doesn't help you as much as Stogie, always light on his feet, switches sides. Gotta go with the dough, he explains while he loads a steel blue semi-automatic 45. Now hold still while I kill you, Ace. You don't, but he does. Shit, we didn't escape in time. <laughs> I fucked around too much. We gotta get the fuck out of here! Run! Run! Run, Griffith! Fuck that! Go! Oh shit, there's no train here. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to play near train tracks? <laughs> You've been run over by a train, pal. Shit! I gotta get the fuck out! 
<laughs> you can go running off to the desert too, but I kind of saved here. I fucking committed! <laughs> I fucking committed! <laughs> Commitment! <laughs> Get me on the train! Get me on the fucking train! <laughs> Fifteen dollars. I can do that. Oh, shit! <laughs> It's not good enough! It's not good enough! Fuck! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't think I can run away! Fucking go! Just run! Just run, Ace Harding! Just run! Just run! Just run, water! Scotch and water! Just go! <laughs> Just go! Okay. We should be good, right? We should be good. Let's... We just went. Let, 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 let's just go back now. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
but there's not enough evidence for Malone to think that Ventini's double-crossing him. What's supposed to happen is that they're supposed to go at each other's throats, and in the process, everyone fucking dies. But, uh, since only one person is convinced and not the other, not everyone dies. Especially not the guy who's out to kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I can't believe I did that. You know what? We'll save it for next time. On the next episode of Let's Get On With It, Deja Vu 2 Lost in Las Vegas, I thought this would be the final episode. Surprise, Griffith! <laughs> God damn it. I blame the caffeine. I blame the drugs. Blame it on the alcohol, even though I didn't have any. Damn it. Fuck. I looked at the letter, too! <laughs> How did I forget it? It was right there in my inventory. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs>